What is up all my dorks, nerds, geeks, and gamers? It's your host, Ghost here. And today we're going to be checking out The Division 2. Um, I'm not going to say I'm too hyped on this one, because uh, I was kind of disappointed from the first one, I'm not going to lie. Because um, I was expecting so much more. But I'm going to keep my expecta expectations a little lower for The Division... I Div ah, can't talk again. A little lower for The Division 2. Um, so that way I'm not being so harsh on it. But we're going to watch some raw gameplay of uh, the Dark Zone gameplay. Um, so yeah, here we go. We're going to hop right in. Alright. So this is from a, another YouTuber's channel. Um, he streams. He was streaming The Division 2. Apparently he got it early at a press event or something like that. But we're just going to be checking out the gameplay, talking about it. From from the get go, from first impressions, it looks like not a much has changed. It looks very much like the first division. Even environment wise, it feels very much the same. They tried to add foliage, but it doesn't really add anything to the environments. At least that's me so far. It seems very much the same as the first one. Alright, there's the map. Okay, uh, I believe this one is in Washington. So, I mean, that's a different setting from where we were last time. Cover system is very much the same. I didn't know it, sorry. Running, running, running. So we're just running to the objective. Should have added like vehicle or something, something to make this a little more fast paced. A uh, jeep or a motorcycle or something of that sort could have made it uh, much more enjoyable instead of just running for miles on end to your destination. Alright, so we got some gunfights going. Yeah, very much the same gameplay. But it seems like Ubisoft isn't hyping this one up as much with the graphics. They're trying to keep it a little bit lower key. Teammate. Because of what happened last time, I believe. Yeah, it feels very much the same. I'm ready to see some uh, new gameplay mechanics. Something different. Sniper rifle. Oh, dude, that dude can't hit nothing. Oh, they're getting flanked. Heal up. Nice. Alright. Got a guy up top. We got a... Okay, so he's going to get up there. It's not the best of strategies, but... Tis a strategy. Is that a noob tube? I don't know. God. Sounded horrible, whatever that scream was. Oh, yeah, you still got the melee guys that'll try to rush you yeah, while you're getting shot at from people shooting at you. You'll have people from above that'll be trying to shoot at you. So, typical division gameplay going on right now. If you played the first one, you're probably familiar with this. Running back and healing and. Okay, we got some weird stuff going on. That's not too encouraging when, uh... Your gameplay demo, you have people floating in the air. Alright, back to the gunplay. Yeah, switch weapons. I want to see some different stuff. So there's the drone that they were talking about. So it's basically just it just flies around with you and kind of watches your back. From what I can tell. 
God, the grenades are so close. Yeah, get out of there. Get out of the zone. It's too hot. It's too hot. Get out. Get to the chopper. God. Alright, so I don't know if that was ammo or a weapon. Some sort of loot. Yeah, that guy's been a pain in the butt the whole time, just chilling up there. And don't let him get away, go get him. Alright, I saw a health pack. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't seen any gameplay of this guy, so this is my first time seeing any gameplay, so I'm kind of just trying to take it all in. I'm honestly not impressed so far. Especially with this being a 2019 game. Yikes! I don't know if it'll sell well in this market. I think this might be the first year that uh, Ubisoft does bad sales on Far Cry and Division. And probably does better sales on Assassin's Creed with whatever they announce for this year. At least that's my opinion. We'll see. Running through cones, running through cones, running to the objective. Okay, this is this is a different looking environment than what we've seen in the first game. So this is kind of exciting. It's not much different, but it's different, okay? Alright, so they got the extraction zone. I'm waiting for them to come across some other human players. Alright, what is this? Some sort of grenade? Alright. So back to the gunfight, firefight. Waiting on the chopper. I mean, it's not bad. It's it'd be a fun, mindless kind of shooter. I'm just not getting too. I'm uh, I'm not feeling so hyped after it. I mean, after playing the first one and kind of knowing. I mean, look at that shadow effect. That shadow was just terrible on that freaking satellite dish. But I could just be being nitpicky. I mean, that could just be me. But. Alright, they're getting hit again. Are these players though? These look like players. These aren't computers. Yeah, those are players. So he just killed one of them. So they got three more over there. Throwing a grenade. Another one bites the dust. Okay, so now we're having computers and humans kind of all rush this uh, helicopter as it lands. Oh no, he's down. Someone come heal him. It's the second time our dude's been down in this demo. I'm out of med kits. Armor plates. Alright, 
Alright, got another grenade out. Oh, there goes the drone. Late Goodbye, late. drone. There he is. Boom. Nice. That was good. Oh, get him. Whoa. Oh. Alright, so we're, they're going to hop in again. They're just going to get it behind them, spawn kill him. Spawn kill him. <laughs> Yeah, these guys are doing work though. They're definitely clearing out the map. <laughs> Alright, he's on the truck. Come on, dude, do something. Do something exciting. Because so far, I am not impressed with this gameplay. Ubisoft, you are not selling me this game, man. All I gotta do is watch some gameplay and I can tell you if I'm gonna buy it or not. So far, this is a nope. This is up there with Fallout 76 and, uh... Some other terrible games. It's not even entertaining. It's the same exact game as the first one. Got a shock drone, shock charge. That was kind of cool. I don't remember there being. Yeah, I got hit again. It must be an EMP. Because it takes out the drone as well. Alright, we got a flash of light over there. Alright, we're gonna switch views again. Another firefight. I think that's how the whole game's gonna be. Your missions, I mean, it's gonna be the same as the first one. You go out, clear some guys out, <clears throat> retreat. Go back, clear guys out, retreat. Alright, he's gonna use the radar, check his surroundings. Not a bad idea. Oh, I didn't even see that RC car. That was cool. Wonder if that would have rolled out and exploded on him or not. That <laughs> sounds like a pop gun. Bop, 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 bop. Like not even no weight to that gun. <clears throat> All right, cleared out that landmark. Alright, more just random gameplay, guys. Got about 10 more minutes of this random gameplay. And that's how I feel about game reviews and stuff. If you're going to talk about a game, don't judge a game based on the CG trailers they put out. Don't judge a game by what someone tells you. Watch the gameplay or play the game and then judge the game. Because the gameplay is what you're going to be doing 98% of your time playing the game. If it's a 20 hour game, you're playing the game for 15 hours. Okay? So gameplay matters. This is the main, it's the meat and potatoes of the dish of a video game. So if the gameplay isn't the best, then your game isn't the best. And that's what I'm feeling here. It's like... The first division, sure, you guys got away with it because it was the first game in the series. Nobody knew. I mean, you hyped it up so much higher than what it was. But now we know. And we're not going to fall for it again. So I don't think this is going to sell as well as the first one. And it's the same thing with, um, oh, what was it? 
I know Watch Dogs was kind of the same thing. Um, just any game they hype, they hype up so much before release. And then we get this first game of it, Destiny. Watch Dogs and Destiny are two huge examples of this. I'm sorry I'm not watching the gameplay. I've seen enough of this to know what I'm talking about. But they release all these CG trailers. Everyone's like, oh, these games are so hyped. They're so hyped. They're going to be so good. Then the first game of that series comes out, and it, it bombs. It's not what anyone expected. It's micro microtransaction heavy, and it's terrible. Like Destiny, like um, Watch Dogs, like the first division. And then they make a little bit of success in the first one by tricking people. And they say, oh, we're going to do a sequel, and we're going to make it so much better. So much better. It's going to be the best sequel you've ever seen. They did this with Destiny 2. People fell for it. Now, oh, it's going to be so much better than the first one. We'll try it again. And they spend the money on the second one, and they get burned again. They got burned twice. Okay. I don't want you guys... I, want that, I don't want that to happen to people that enjoyed the first division. If you enjoyed the first division, get the second one. Sure, you'll probably enjoy it. But if you got burned on the first division, like most of us, and it wasn't, so, it was, they promised something that it could never be. Well, then skip this one. Show them a lesson. The only way these studios learn a lesson is if you don't give them the money. Okay. Keep your wallet in your pocket and do not buy this game unless you want to. If you want to, it's a free country. Go for it. Well, that's just my opinion. We need to stop giving these companies money for unfinished, terrible quality, crappy games. That's just me. But, and I, th um, I think this might be one of them. Alright, we're going to continue watching though. Maybe something amazing will happen. I mean, look at the shooting. Even that is off. Like, he's just lighting him up, and... It's broken. It's just... It's not finished. The right shield's kind of cool. I mean... I guess it's a new feature, but... Is it that cool? Probably not. Jesus, look at that gun, though. That's a ridiculously huge gun. It's like an elephant gun. Extraction called for. Chopper inbound at this time. Okay, that's cool. It's like a radar grenade. That was kind of cool. Oh my god, that dude got blasted. That dude no longer exists. Is he shooting at a friendly? What the heck? I wonder if there's friendly fire. That's a good question to ask. And I really don't know what the story is in this game. Well, I'll probably take a look at a story trailer in the future. But, in the near future. But, um, I wasn't too impressed with the story of the first game. Because they had that whole post-apocalyptic thing they could have done anything with. And they chose to literally do nothing with it. So, it was kind of a waste. So, we'll see what they do with this story. Yep, so those do roll towards you if you don't, if you're not paying attention. And the fire effects and all the explosion effects literally look the exact same as the first division. Like, no improvements graphic-wise, 
no improvements environment wise no improvements on enemy character variety what did they improve they added a few new they added shields they added a few new guns Ooh, really is that a sequel nowadays it's in Washington now, Ooh. but yet the environments look the exact same. Manhunt detected nearby. All right, so he's just rolling up on this group here, using that sniper rifle. Does he not have a scope on it? Is that a tank? That was a person rolling up on him. Oh, we get to see the emotes now. Doing the Macarena. Hey, Macarena. Like, literally, even the same character movements. Like, they didn't update anything. Nothing. I admit the graphics are slightly better. Just slightly. So you can turn on your teammates if you go rogue, that's cool. Your agent status is disavowed. Oh, I just one shot him, dude. And guys, I don't own this gameplay. This is like I said earlier. It's another YouTuber's channel. Uh, he must have been able to play Division 2 early. So we're just checking out the gameplay. I'm talking about the game through the gameplay. Because uh, like I said, you get a better understanding of the game if you see the gameplay. And judge it based on gameplay. Sniper is pretty strong. One shot a lot of money. Division! That's two good shots, so I'll give him that. Oh, got hit back. That's why you gotta be careful, sniper. Oh, those guys down there are just standing there, though. I don't know what they're doing. Did not see the sniper sneaking up on them. In his natural habitat. I don't know, med kids. Yeah, he's running out of options, he's gotta do something. What is this? Watch it. He's up. Oh, it heals, okay. Immediate medical assistance needed. Oh! Got him. Alright guys, that's the end of it, the end of the gameplay. We'll talk. Alright, so, Division 2, I've already stated it before, I'm not hyped for it at all. Um, if you guys are, that's cool. That's awesome. Uh, cause I have games I'm sure that I like that you guys probably hate. And I'm sure people, other people out there like games that I hate that they enjoy and vice versa and all that stuff. So that's cool. If you guys like the division, awesome. Um, I'm just putting this gameplay video out there for my reaction to it. Um, I played the first one. I beat the first one. I semi enjoyed the first one. I had problems with the first one and I hope they would fix it in the sequel and they haven't. So uh, that's my standing on it. I want to know your guys' standing on Division 2 uh, down below. Leave a comment. What you really think of the game. Uh, do you think it will succeed? Do you think it won't? Um, and many other questions you can ask. 
Uh, leave a like down below, subscribe, uh, make sure to leave a comment as well. Hit the notification bell, guys. Till next time, I've been your host, Ghost. Adios.